so the next step will be to um, to connect this one guy go somewhere I forgot where exactly we'll find out some place probably this one guy then is another connector there um, this one goes to the pump it's a real real mess to get this disconnected from the pump it's awful uh, actually I used a flat screw screwdriver and pushed on the connector like this um, somewhere there yeah push there and same time just pray with the screwdriver in this slight like you have like a, a place to place the screwdriver just pry up like this and eventually it's gonna pop up but it's really hard to do so and then the small connector here this one you just need whoops just need this has a very 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 small tab here just pull it back and then pull the connector out and uh, so what's remaining is here to connect to the fill line it's down below I'll show you. the line it's down there that's the fill line it's a like connector just like the injectors but it's just one side the tab is just being pushed one side here with a screwdriver eventually flat screwdriver just slide it back then it clicks so that's pretty much it this is the ground the ground goes on the screw it's a long screw that will keep the pump in. oops it's okay this will keep the pump in place to the bottom of the tank and the ground is connected to this so that's the only connection the only attachment of the pump to the tank the only thing the only screw is a 10 millimeter I think. and then on the top I got this nice metal ring I just punch it sideways like this with the screwdriver it will eventually get loose and then Again, there's this cover. It's nothing going going through this cover. It's just a cover with a a connector attached to it. This guy is attached to the cover. And finally, finally, the magic Volvo volume like remaining field volume. this must be detached from the pump either before actually before removing the pump from the tank you need to detach this thing you just have two tabs here this and this two tabs press on the tabs detach this from the pump remove the float from the tank and then you'll be able to remove the pump oh yeah the float has a connector too and <laughs> Eventually try to clean up this small uh, potentiometer things with some uh, with some alcohol here and perhaps it's gonna work better next time. Alright, good luck.